here with Paul Sparks from a zoo story. Where did you come from in yourself to create that layered performance? Um, <laughs> that's a good question. You know, I think it all starts with the script. You know, I think a lot of it, I use the clues that, that I'll be, um, that gives you, you know, uh, in subtle and not so subtle ways. He's, he's such a craftsman of the script. It's really, all the information is really available there. It is a wild sort of peacock type role, but um, I'm, I, I think I have a feeling of being an outsider at times and trying to fit in and trying to merge with other people and uh, that part that part of me is really spoken to by this this script. And so hopefully that can. And where can we find you next? Um, you know, I'm always around. Uh, I, I'm doing a show called Sweet Bitter, which is a television show. We'll see if it gets picked up for another season. I'll probably do another movie uh, this summer. We'll, uh, nothing is set in stone, so we'll see. Yeah. My name is Chase Dino, and I'm nominated for my role in Adam Cell Ray. Now, you're also doing another show right now, correct? Yes, I'm doing transfers at MCC. And is this your first time being here? Yes, it is. Had you ever known about this award? Well, I'm not. I'm so grateful. Where were you before? Recognition. I can never say the name of the show. Alice at a Ray. Adamus. Adamus Ray. Where were you before? Where could we have seen you before? Um, I had done Bruce Norris's Parallelogram at some stage later. Lucci, I'm nominated for The Low Road. Your performance in The Low Road was so layered. Where do you come from to create that character? Where do I come from? Well, I, I think a lot of it was in the writing, so I have to give Bruce a lot of credit. And for some reason, this character, which people are very excited about, came very easily. I sort of understood the outsider. I grew up in... Nigeria and all of Africa went to boarding school in England, came to America, so I understand sort of being the exotic quote unquote person. I love his wit, he has a lot of wit, and he's a romantic, and I, I like to think of myself as a bit of a romantic, so I try to bring as much of myself into all of that. Yeah. Now you're about to take on a really famous role. Yes, Othello. You want to talk about that a little? Yeah, it's, it's, I was just discussing it to a previous Othello, John Douglas Thompson, and saying how it's by far the most brutal role I've ever played. It's probably the hardest role, mainly because he doesn't have a release valve. From the moment the seeds of jealousy are dropped into the end of the play, uh, which is a long time, um, there is no release valve. I remember playing something like Hamlet, where you reach these peaks, but then you get a chance to talk to the audience and say, help me, and you sort of calm down. Othello just goes on that and it spirals and spirals and spirals to the end. So it's, it's a brutal challenge, but deeply beautiful challenge also. I think the, there's a real beauty in the brutality of it that I'm going to really embrace and I'm looking forward to it. And where are you opening? We start performances May 29th. We open officially June 18th, I believe. Yeah. I just signed up for it, so I'm looking forward to it. Excellent. I can't wait for you to see it. Me too. Okay. Bye-bye. John Douglas Thompson. I'm nominated for Caius Cassius, the role of Caius Cassius in Julius Caesar. That was uh, Shakespeare in the Park this this past summer. You were so layered and textured in your role. What did you bring of yourself to that role? I was thinking about, you know, some political firebrands like uh, John McCain, Elizabeth Warren, uh, even Barack Obama, um, as using that as a prototype for my character. So it was all primarily political. And where can we see you next? I'm in Carousel right now on Broadway. I play the Starkeeper. Uh, so that's the next play. That's the play that I'm in now. And after that, I will be in a play, maybe coming back to New York, called Man in the Ring. Well, we look forward to seeing you next. I look forward to meeting you again. I'm Michael Arden. I'm here at the Drama League uh, Awards supporting and congratulating Alex Stuhl and Haley Kilgore from Once on this Island on their honors today, and everyone here. I'm Dane Laffrey, ditto. That's it. Now, you also produce. What are you producing this year? Well, I don't produce, but I direct. I, direct. I, uh, I directed Once on this Island. Uh, What's up next for you?
what's up next for me? I'm directing Annie at the Hollywood Bowl, which my designer Dan Laffrey is also designing, and then we're doing a Christmas Carol starring Jefferson Mays in Los Angeles. Fabulous! Where's that going to be playing? It's at the Geffen Theater in LA. Nice. Dave, what's next for you? Same. First is Dave the Musical at Arena in LA. Yes. This we look forward to seeing what you guys do. Thank you. My name is David Luckett, and I'm here because my show, Woody Says, The Life of Music of Woody Guthrie, has been nominated for Best Musical. Now, did you ever expect it to make it as far as it did? Uh, yes and no. Uh, I certainly never expected to be to be nominated by the Drama League for Best Musical, but the show has been uh, a little engine that could for about 11 years now. I wrote it in 2007, along with uh, my collaborators, Nick Corley, Darcy DeVille, Helen Russell, and Andy Tierstein, and uh, we're still going. Uh, 11 years later, we've played 65 cities all around the world. Now, what is your hope for this show? Where would you like it to do? What would you like? Where would you like it to go? Wow. Well, I would, I would love uh, for more people to see it, uh, particularly in this, uh, this day and age, this political climate in the United States. I think Woody Guthrie had a lot to say, and uh, the more people that get to hear it, the more I like it. Six years of my life. For me. <laughs> but you're now doing what's on this island. Did you ever think that you would come to Broadway? Absolutely. That was my goal. We just fell in my lap. Um, I always, I was a little theater kid. I had my equity card really young, and so I was on the fast track to being on Broadway in my mind. And so I did Glee as the intro after high school, and here I am now. Back to my first love. And what roles would you like to take on? All of them. I am someone that loves to challenge myself and challenge the quota of life. Thank you. Thank you.